another topic that I will discuss is the ethical and social issues in information systems. Anyway, I am Ruth. To be updated on my future uploads, just click the subscribe button. My topic first is to analyze the relationships among ethical, social, and political issues that are raised by information systems. Next is identify the main moral dimensions of an information society and specific principles of conduct that can be used to guide ethical decisions. And lastly is to assess how information systems have affected our everyday life. So what is an information system? By definition, it is a combination of hardware, software, infrastructure, and trained personnel organized to facilitate planning, control, coordination, and decision making in an organization. So hardware is the technology that you can touch or the physical aspects of technology such as desktop computer, tablet, mobile cell phones, and disk drive, etc. For software, it is classified into two major types of programs. Uh, system software is a program that manages the resources of the computer system and simplify the application's programming. So example of this includes the Apple Mac OS, the MS Word, Google, Google's Android, etc. Another classification of software is the application software. It is a program that directs the performance of a particular use or application of computers to meet the information processing needs of the end user. Example includes the app camera application, the MS Word, the games, the music, etc. For the issues raised by information systems, first is the ethical eth issues. These are the intellectual property rights, electronic monitoring of employees and data utilization. Another is cultural issues. Uh, it's the assimilation of emerging technologies, developing trust, power, asymmetry, policy implementation, and social environments. For human interaction issues, such recruitment and retainment of technical personnel, motivation, leadership, social presence, and organizational champions of information systems. For the relationship issues, involves development partnerships, virtual teams, group cohesiveness, collaboration, group facilitation, networking, and buyer supplier linkages. And lastly is the security issues, misuse of data, virus or worm creation, the internet abuse, data protection, fraud with system use, and standards and regulations. The introduction of new information technology has a rightful effect, raising new ethical, social, and political issues that must be dealt on the individual social and political levels. The major ethical, social, and political issues raised by information system include the following moral dimensions. First is the information rights and obligations, uh, the privacy and freedom in the internet age. Next is the property rights, includes the intellectual property, accountability and control, uh, who can and will be held accountable and liable for the harm done to the individual, and collective information and property rights. For the system quality, data quality and system errors for the quality of life it includes equity access and boundaries 
the key technology trends that raise ethical issues. The trend and impact. For the computing power doubles every 18 months, the impact is more organizations depend on computer systems for critical operations. It has made it possible for more organizations to depend on IS for their core production processes, which has increased our vulnerability to system errors and poor data quality. Next is the data storage costs rapid decline. Impact is that organizations can easily maintain little databases of individuals. It have been responsible for increase in databases of individual employees, customers, and suppliers. These advances made the rotten violations to individual privacy both, both uh, cheap and effective. For data analysis advances, uh, impact could be companies can analyze vast quantities of data gathered on individuals to develop detailed profiles of individual behavior, such as the profiling, which is a combining data from multiple sources, to create dossiers or files of detailed information on individuals. Another is non-obvious relationship awareness, or NORA, which is combining data from multiple sources to find obscure hidden connections that might help identify individuals or terrorists, which include tracking of individual cell phones. Uh, next is the networking advances, which has the impact of copying data from one location to another and accessing personal data from remote locations are much even easier. Another trend is the mobile device growth impact, wherein individual cell phones may be tracked without user consent or knowledge. Uh, the basic concepts of ethical analysis is responsibility, which means acceptance of the potential costs, duties, and obligations for the decisions you make. Next is accountability, which means mechanisms are in place for identifying who took responsible actions and who are the responsible parties. Another is liability. It is a feature of the political systems in which a body of law permits individual and firms to recover damages to them by other actors, systems, or organizations. And lastly, is due process. That is law governs societies and is a process in which laws are well known and understood. For the ethical principles, first we have the golden rule which means that do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Another is the imperative Kant's categorical imperative, which commands or moral laws all persons must follow, regardless of their desires or justifying circumstances. The Descartes' rule of change, which states that if an action cannot be taken repeatedly, then it is not right to be taken at any time. Another ethical principle is the utilitarian principle, striving for happiness while avoiding discomfort or unhappiness. Another is risk aversion principle, choosing options and making decisions that will limit the loss. And lastly, the ethical the free lunch rule that all tangible objects are assumed owned by someone else unless specifically declared otherwise. There are laws in the world to avoid these issues, such as the Electronic Transaction Ordinance uh, for the year 2002 in Pakistan that states that heavily taken foreign law related to cyber crimes. Another is also in Pakistan, the Electronic Crime Bill of 2007, which deals with electronic crimes, including data managed electronic fraud, 
electronic forgery, and authorized access to code, cyber spamming, cyber stalking, and cyber terrorism. And hopefully, the same is uh, happening also in the Philippines, wherein we have existing laws to avoid uh, IS issues. So that's all for my presentation. Let's subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.